Hello everyone, welcome to Excellence Batch. Today we have reached to our fourth lecture of 3D Geometry and theory wise this will be the last lecture of 3D Geometry because after that I'll be taking one session on only PYQ so that you will understand that how whatever we have learned from directly questions are coming from that part. Means this is a very simple chapter if you understand the logics, algorithms, the chapter is very simple. In the previous class what we have learned was equation in plane means what are the different different situations when plane will be given, conditions will be given and how you will find the equation of a plane. Okay, so moving on there are some standard formulas you can say which you can directly relate to 2D geometry. Few of them we have already seen like perpendicular distance formula and then uh, you can say foot uh, and uh, image of the point means with respect to a plane, those kind of things. So today we will continue those things and see what kind of questions are there. Let's get started. So equation of plane bisecting the angle between the given planes. You can say angle bisector like in equation of line we have angle bisector. So in equation of plane also we have plane bisector. So that is given by the same way like line equation and the plane equation are given. So plane equation by under root plus or minus plane equation under root. Same thing if you can relate it with 2D geometry angle bisector. So again first of all D1 D2 should be greater than 0. You have to make D1 D2 greater than 0 the constant term. Then if A1 A2 plus B1 B2 plus C1 C2 is greater than 0 then minus will be acute angle bisector and plus sign will be obtuse angle bisector and plus sign will be obtuse angle bisector and vice versa if it is less than zero then plus will be acute angle bisector and minus will be obtuse angle bisector and that's it simple okay so like this if the equation of two plane bisecting the angle between the plane are this then means these are the perfect condition which I have told you a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is greater than 0 then minus will be the acute angle bisector and plus will be the obtuse angle bisector less than 0 so plus and minus okay. The bisector planes are perpendicular to each other and positive sign bisector is the plane containing the origin and always the positive side is the plane containing the origin. Next projection of line segment of on a line or plane projection of a line segment on a line or a plane how you will find a projection of a line on a plane or a line. So if PQ be two points and L be a line or plane suppose there is two points PQ. So now I need projection of this. So projection is this length. So basically what we do is we find foot of perpendicular of P on the plane or line foot of perpendicular of Q on the plane or line as Q dash and P dash. After finding these foot of perpendicular what you need to do is you need to find distance formula. So the same thing if M and R feet of perpendiculars from P and Q to the line or to the plane then M n is called projection of PQ on the line as simple as that. So whatever we have learnt in the basics of lines and planes that how to find foot of perpendicular, how to find image that will only help you to find the projection of two points. Basically first of all we are finding their feet of perpendiculars. After finding feet of perpendiculars what you need to do is distance formula. That's it. Distance formula in this way. Now let's solve some questions. If P and Q are this point then the projection of PQ on the plane. So that means you need to first find P dash means the feet of perpendicular of P, feet of perpendicular of Q. So by direct formula we can do like for P dash let it be H, K and L. So H minus 0 by 1, K minus 1 by 1 and uh, L minus uh, 0 by 1 is equals to minus is equals to minus put this point put this point in the plane so 0 1 0 so 1 minus 3 divided by a square plus b square plus c square like this like this so this is uh, nothing but 2 2 by 3 so h will become 2 by 3 k will become 2 by 3 3 
प्लस वन सो फाइव बाय थ्री एंड एल विल बिकम अगेन टू बाय थ्री इन दिस वे सर ओके ना फॉर जीरो जीरो वन लेट इट बी क्यू डैश इट इज जीरो जीरो वन सो लेट इट बी एच डैश के डैश एंड एल डैश सो एच डैश माइनस जीरो बाय वन के डैश माइनस जीरो बाय वन एंड एल डैश माइनस वन बाय वन इज इक्वल्स टू सेम थिंग पुटिंग दिस पॉइंट सो वन माइनस थ्री इज माइनस टू टू बाय थ्री सो इट विल बिकम एच एच विल बी टू बाय थ्री के विल बी टू बाय थ्री एंड एल विल बी टू बाय थ्री प्लस वन सो फाइव बाय थ्री ओके ना वी नीड टू फाइंड पी डैश क्यू डैश सो सर टू बाय थ्री माइनस टू बाय थ्री विल बी जीरो फाइव बाय थ्री माइनस टू बाय थ्री इज वन बाय थ्री सो वन बाय थ्री स्क्वायर विल बी वन बाय नाइन एंड टू बाय थ्री माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री इज अगेन सॉरी टू बाय थ्री सो ओ सॉरी सॉरी फाइव बाय थ्री माइनस टू बाय थ्री इज थ्री बाय थ्री सो वन विल कम यू विल गेट वन स्क्वायर एंड अगेन टू बाय थ्री माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री इज वन सो आंसर विल बिकम रूट टू बी ऑप्शन आंसर विल बिकम रूट टू इन दिस वे सर क्वाइट सिंपल ओके मूविंग ऑन Now some standard results, like if plane one and plane two are given, are two intersecting planes, then the plane passing through the line of intersection is P one plus K P two, kind of family of planes. If you remember family of lines L one plus lambda L two, means all the lines which passing through the intersection of those two lines. Similarly, all the planes passing through the intersection of these two planes will be given by P one plus K P two or lambda P two. Where k is any constant, where k is any constant, the equation of plane which bisects the join of the points, this and this at right angles, is this thing not at much important. If a plane meets the coordinate axis in ABC such that center of the triangle is the point PQR, then the equation of the plane, sir, we can solve it with the help of uh, calculation also, like we did in the fifth. So only this thing is important, which you should. understand which you should remember p1 plus lambda p2 so you can relate it directly with the help of uh, what you can say uh, straight lines okay next for the plane the point lie on the if you remember like the power of the point in the case of line if the point gives you positive sign so it is on the positive side negative sign on the negative side right if it gives zero that means point lies on the line similarly put this point in the plane equation so 2 3 za uh, sorry 2 2 za 4 plus 3 3 za 9 minus 5 5 za 25 plus 10 so 4 plus 9 13 13 plus 10 23 so you will get minus 2 you will get 9 minus 2 so lie on the opposite to the origin side how Now put the origin. So sir, zero, zero, zero. I'll get ten. Means I'll get positive side. So sir, any plane, one side will be positive side and one side will be negative side. So the answer is opposite to the origin side because both are giving different answer. Like in the line also, one side is positive, one side is negative. In the plane also, it has two sides: one positive, one negative. so it will be on the opposite side to the origin okay so with questions we are dealing the theory parts for the plane the point a and b again lie on the same side lie on the opposite side so just put the point for point a pi or plane is 4 into minus 2 minus 8 uh, minus 3 Plus two two is a four minus three, so it will become uh, minus six uh, minus fourteen minus ten. B now pi, so put B point three four is a twelve minus three minus four minus three, so nine 
six plus four ten. So I will get two. So one is positive, one is negative. That means lie on the opposite side because one is on the positive side, one is on the negative side. Clear? I hope it. This is clear. Moving on. The point this and this lie on the opposite sides of the plane. Then, sir, the points are lying opposite sides. So that means if you put one point and another point, the product should be less than zero because one will give you positive value and one will give you negative value. So in this case, put the point one plus one minus three three is a nine plus d into one plus zero. Minus three three is a nine plus d should be lesser than zero. So sir, uh, two. So d minus seven, and here d minus eight should be less than zero. Seven uh, eight plus minus plus. So d belongs to seven to eight. C option. Like this. Hope you remember inequality and know how to solve inequality. Okay. Clear. I hope. Next, line and plane. So till now, what we have done is entire plane is done, entire line is done. Now things will or questions will come where line and plane both will be mixed. So the line formulas or the concept will be applied for the line and plane concepts will be applied for the plane. Okay. So let's see how when the both comes, how we. So they can be little lengthy, but the concept and the algorithm and the method what we have learned and used will be exactly same. Will be exactly same. Kind of little lengthy can be there. Let's see. Equation of the plane containing lines. One of the thing is, if suppose it is given, one plane is containing two given lines. One line, two line. Then directly you can say equation of the plane is x minus x one. Take one of the point y minus y one, z minus z one, a one, b one, c one, x two, a two, b two, c two. Or take the other point. Both will give you the line plane equation. Now in this only, if you put another point like x2, y2, and z2, it will become what? Coplanar line condition. It will become coplanar line condition because this in plane, I am putting one more point. So in this way, coplanar line condition exists or came. Understood? Moving on. Like the sine of the angle between the straight line and the plane. So there is a thing. Let me show you. Suppose there is a plane. Okay, we know that anything which is so the normal to the plane. This is 90 degree. Its direction ratios are A, B, C. Suppose its direction ratios are A1, B1, and C1. Suppose now a line intersect the plane at certain point. His its direction ratios are a two, b two, and c two. Now we need angle between line and plane. We need angle between line and plane. So this is the angle made by the line and plane theta. This is the angle made by. But according to what we know, we can get angle between these two lines because this has direction ratio. This has direction ratio. Plane does not has any direction ratio. So we can get this thing. Phi, so we can say cos phi is equals to a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two root over root over right. This angle we can get, but we know that theta is equals to or phi is equals to ninety minus theta because this entire is ninety minus theta gives you phi. So substitute this value, cos 90 minus theta. So sine theta is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2. So this means that the formula which we have learned, angle between two lines when direction, cosines, or ratios are given, then angle between two lines when the equation of line is given. Angle between two planes when two plane equations are given everywhere same formula was there, but it was cos theta. But now when they ask angle between the line and the plane, so formula is same. Just instead of cos theta, I need to use sine theta. 
instead of cos theta i need to use sin theta understood okay so every time when they ask angle between line and plane you need to take sin theta that's it so in the same way the sign of the angle between the straight line and the plane they are asking so sin theta is a1 a2 3 2s are 6 minus 2 4s are 8 plus 5 divided by 3 square 4 square 5 square and here 2 square 2 square plus 1 so it will become sin theta 6 plus 5 11 11 minus 8 3 now here 25 25 50 so 5 root 2 5 root 2 into 3 so 1 by 5 root 2 c option like this c option okay i hope it's clear now moving on equation of a line passing through this and parallel to the plane now again things will come where you need to see options also and everything i need that equation of a line passing through 1 minus 2 and 3 so 1 so this line and this 1 minus 2 and plus 3 only this line is that line rest everywhere it is plus plus and plus right and parallel to the plane if a line is parallel so that means direction ratio of the normal to the plane will be perpendicular to the line also will be perpendicular to the line also so minus 2 plus 3 minus 1 is 0 so first option only so first option only in this case so simple i have told you in 3d vectors various times you need to go with the option only moving on the value of m for which straight line this this is parallel to the plane the straight line is parallel to the plane now let the direction ratio of the line be abc let the direction ratio of the line be abc so the normal to the plane will be normal to the line also okay so 3a minus 2b plus c equals to 0 4a Minus 3b plus 4c equals to zero. Okay, now so if you take a, hide it minus 2 into 4, it's minus 8 minus 3 into 1, so plus 3. B now 1 into 4, 4 minus 4 into 3, 12, and c 3 into minus 3, minus 9. Minus minus plus four to the eight, so it will be a by minus five, b by minus eight, c by minus one. These are the direction ratios of the line. Now that is parallel to the plane. So again, if a line is parallel to the plane, so that means direction ratio of normal to the plane will be perpendicular to the line also. So that means. 2 into minus 5 minus 1 into minus 8 then uh, m into minus 1 equals to 0 minus 10 plus 8 minus m equals to 0 m is equals to minus 2 first option like this m is equals to minus 2 so whatever you have done same thing will happen same thing will happen okay just what you need to do is you need to understand and un the logics you don't have to forget about the basic things what we have learnt so every basic thing will be helpful okay moving on now this question came in a triple e let the line this lie on the plane then alpha comma beta is let the line lie on the plane so if a line is on the plane one thing is the normal to the plane is normal to the line also so that means uh, 1 into 3 plus uh, 3 into minus 5 plus 2 into minus alpha will equals to 0 sir perpendicular 
सो थ्री माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस टू एल्फा इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एल्फा इक्वल्स टू माइनस ट्वेल्व एल्फा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस सिक्स नाउ एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस सिक्स जेड प्लस बीटा इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट ऑन दिस लाइन इफ लाइज ऑन द प्लेन विल लाई ऑन द प्लेन एंड सेटिस्फाई द प्लेन ऑल्सो सो द पॉइंट ऑन द लाइन इज टू वन एंड माइनस टू टू वन एंड माइनस टू शुड सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन दैट मीन्स टू प्लस थ्री माइनस सिक्स टू जार ट्वेल्व प्लस बीटा इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो बीटा इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन सो बीटा इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन सो ए ऑप्शन माइनस सिक्स कॉमा सेवन माइनस सिक्स कॉमा सेवन आई होप इट्स क्लियर एवरीबडी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके एवरीबडी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग नेक्स्ट अगेन ए ट्रिपली टू थाउजेंड इलेवन द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द पॉइंट फ्रॉम द प्लेन मेजर्ड अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रेट लाइन नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली देर इज अ पॉइंट वन कॉमा माइनस फाइव कॉमा नाइन I need the distance of this point from this plane x minus y plus z. Sir, we have a perpendicular distance formula, right? We could have used it, but they are asking measured along the straight line. There is a straight line x is equals to y equals to z. I need distance parallel to this line. Means instead of this distance, they need this distance. They need this distance. Now. passing point of this line is given and these two lines are parallel so that means direction ratio of these lines will be same so equation of line let it be a let it be b equation of ab it will become x minus 1 by 1 y plus 5 by 1 z minus 9 by 1 let it be lambda so b point b point can be lambda plus 1 lambda minus 5 lambda plus 9 now this point will satisfy the equation of plane so substitute there lambda plus 1 minus lambda plus 5 plus lambda plus 9 is equals to 5 so lambda lambda cancel lambda is equals to 5 5 cancel minus 10 minus 10 so what will be the b point sir then substitute here minus 10 plus 1 minus 9 uh, minus 10 minus 5 it's minus 15 and then minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1 so ultimately you need distance so ab distance formula sir minus 9 minus 1 100 Fifteen plus five ten, so again hundred, again hundred, so it will become uh, sir three uh, hundred. So it will be ten root three. It will be ten root three. B option, C sir. Very important question. Keep the this question in your notes. Okay, it's a very important question. Understood, everyone. I hope it's clear. This came in IIT 2009. IIT means advanced exams. Let P be a point, Q be a point on the line, Q be a point on the line. Okay. So if you understand this, the line it can be it will be x minus one by minus three, y plus one by one, z minus two by five. Okay. So any point on this line. Will be what you can say Q point will be minus three mu plus one mu minus one five mu plus two. Okay. Now P point is already given three comma two comma six. So P Q vector means direction ratio of P Q will be uh, minus three mu. Uh, plus one minus three is minus two, 
mu minus 1 minus 2 so mu minus 3 5 mu plus 2 minus 6 so minus 4 will be there okay now its dot product with the plane means direction ratio of the normal of the plane so will be minus 3 mu minus 2 minus 4 mu plus 4 3s are 12 plus 15 mu minus 3 4s are 12 equals to 0 12 12 will get cancel uh, 3 and 4 7 so 8 mu equals to 2 mu is equals to 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 so the answer is a option as simple as that answer is a option okay understood I hope everything is clear everything is clear next if the angle between the line and the plane is cos inverse then what is the value of lambda but we know that angle between line and plane is nothing but sine theta it's sine theta here it is 1 so sir 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus uh, lambda into 3 divided by root over uh, 1 square plus 2 square plus lambda square 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square like this now this angle is given as sine of cos inverse uh, root 5 by 14 like this and here it will be 4 4 plus 1 5 plus 3 lambda uh, uh, root 14 and here uh, root 5 by lambda square like this so now we need to convert this cos into sine so if you convert cos into sine root 14 uh, square minus uh, root 5 9 so 3 so 3 by root 14 is equals to 5 plus 3 lambda root 14 5 plus lambda square root 14 root 14 cancelled so multiply both side and square so it will become 9 into 5 plus lambda square is equals to 25 plus 9 lambda square plus 5 3 is a 15 15 2 is a 30 lambda so sir lambda square and 9 lambda square will get cancelled 45 minus 25 equals to 30 lambda so uh, this will become 20 by 30 equals to lambda lambda is equals to 2 by 3 lambda is equals to 2 by 3 okay understood a simple question I hope everyone is getting this okay moving on next if lines this and this and third line passing through 1 comma 1 comma 1 form a triangle of area root 6 units then point of intersection of third line with second line will be now this is also a very good question it will help you to understand the 3d geometry in a much broader way here also what you can say is the area of the triangle will be given by what half AB cross AC okay now let this be a triangle in 3d let they are saying if the line this and this and the third line passing through 1 comma 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 will satisfy this line means one of the line is x equals to y equals to z so one point is 1 comma 1 so it has to be here means it will pass through this another line is x is equals to y by 2 is equals to z by 3 now what is the line which will satisfy both only line which will satisfy both will be 0 comma 0 comma 0 how lambda can equals to lambda by 2 or 2 lambda no prob no only 0 0 0 so this is the point which is satisfying this equation and this equation we don't know this let it be lambda so it will be lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda lambda 2 lambda and 3 lambda so I got the three points right let it be a b c 
I got the three points, right, sir? Now, the area of the triangle is root 6 unit, then the point of intersection of third line with second line will be, means they are asking this lambda, 2 lambda, 3 lambda. Sir, it's very simple now. Only this diagram making and understanding that which point is common to both line was important. After this, root 6 is nothing but half uh, determinant of or my magnitude of AB cross AC. AB cross AC. Simple, sir. So, half I, J, K. Ab AB, sir, 1, 1, 1. And AC, AC will be lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda. So, half magnitude of, sir, I, 3 minus 2, it's lambda only. Minus J, sir, 3 minus lambda 2 lambda. And then K and then k. So k will be 2 minus 1, it's lambda, like this. So half, this is root 6, so lambda 4, 4 plus uh, 1, 5, it will become 6 lambda square, root 6, root 6 cancel, 2 is equals to lambda, 2 is equals to lambda. So that means 1 comma 2 comma 3, A option. 1 comma 2 comma 3 a option in this way you have to solve it okay I hope things are clear crystal clear now moving on to the next question a variable plane intersects the coordinate axis at a b and c and is at a constant distance p from origin then the locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron OABC. Okay, let A point B, A comma 0 comma 0, B point B 0 comma B comma 0, and C point B 0 comma 0 comma C, because they are cutting on the coordinate axis. So the equation of the plane will be x by A, y by B, z by C is equals to 1. Now, this plane is at a distance of P from the origin. Then the locus of the centroid of tetrahedron. Now, first of all, this plane is at a distance of uh, 1 P unit. So, P will be 0, 0, 0, 1 by root under, uh, what you can say, uh, 1 by A square plus 1 by B square, 1 by C square. So, it will be 1 by a square, 1 by b square, 1 by c square is equals to 1 by p square. Okay, but I need locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron O, A, B, C. So, centroid of tetrahedron, let it be H, K and L. Centroid means uh, of the tetrahedron. So, H is nothing but 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0 by 4 means you will get uh, a by 4, uh, h is equals to a by 4, a will equals to 4 h. Similarly, k is equals to b by 4 and uh, b is equals to 4 k and l is equals to c by 4 and uh, c is equals to 4 l. Now substitute here. So you will get 1 by h square, 1 by k square, 1 by l square is equals to 16 by p square equals to 16 by p square now replace h k and l by x y z so c option like this c option okay clear understood now next the equation to the plane through the line of intersection of these two such that each plane is at a distance of two units from the origin. I need those planes which are two units. Now sir you can see that they are asking intersection of two planes. So all such planes will be P1 plus K P2 equals to 0. So that will be if I take X common sir 2 plus lambda or K you can say then if I take y common, so uh, y common, so that means 1 
माइनस के एंड देन जेड कॉमन सो थ्री प्लस के थ्री प्लस के देन कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म माइनस टू प्लस फोर के इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ दिस प्लेन इज एट अ टू डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन सो टू डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन सो जीरो 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 फोर के माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस के का होल स्क्वायर वन माइनस के का होल स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री प्लस के का होल स्क्वायर लाइक दिस so after this solving you will get two values of k that will be the answer simple so in this way family of plane is used now it's a simple arithmetic you can solve this okay moving on p is a point such that the sum of the square of its distances from the plane this this and this is 5 then the locus of p is p is a point let p be h comma k comma l now the sum of the squares of its distances from the plane like distance from this plane will be h plus means put this point k plus l root over 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 square they are saying sum of the squares plus similarly here h plus k minus 2l so 1 plus 1 plus 4 last this one so h minus k by 2 is 5 they are saying so now you need to solve this means all the squares and all and you will definitely get the answer chalo <laughs> let's solve एच स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस एल स्क्वायर प्लस टू एच के प्लस टू के एल प्लस टू एल एच इन दिस केस प्लस एच स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर फोर एल स्क्वायर प्लस टू एच के माइनस टू टू जा फोर के एल माइनस टू टू जा फोर एल एच प्लस एच स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर माइनस टू एच के बट एल सी एम ऑल्सो विल कम ना सर हेयर थ्री हेयर सिक्स एंड हेयर टू सो एल सी एम विल बी सिक्स ओनली थ्री एंड टू या सिक्स ओनली सो थ्री टू जा सो हेयर टू 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 जा फोर Here also two two is a four, and here also two two is a four. This will be same. Here three will come. So three, three, three two is a six h k like this, divided by six. So six five is a thirty. Six five is a thirty. Now, uh, sir, definitely things will get cancelled. Like four h k plus two h k is six h k. Cancelled. Four uh, KL, four KL. Cancel. Four LH, four LH. See, all the terms got cancelled. Now two H square plus H square. It's uh, three plus three plus three, six H square. Then two K square, three plus uh, three. So this was three. Three plus two five. Five plus one six. So two plus one three. Three plus three, uh, six k square. Then two l square uh, plus four six. So it is six l square is equals to thirty. H square plus k square plus l square is equals to five. C option is equals to five. In this way, so you will get the answer. Just you need to solve it. like a normal routine method means just after formula it will be simple maths always it will be simple maths moving on the areas of the triangle formed by a plane with the positive xy 
yz and zx axis respectively are 12 9 and 6 square units then the equation of the plane is they are asking now the area of the triangle formed with the by a plane with the positive x and y now if positive x y so half x y half x y is the area of the triangle so that is given as 12 so half y z is given as 9 half z x is given as 6 so what you can do is uh, you can means they can be the axis you can say so it will become if you multiply everything so it will become x square y square z square is equals to 24 18 into 12 so x y and z is equals to uh, what you will get sir this is 12 into 2 this is 9 into 2 into 12 so 12 2 and 3 so 2 3 is a 6 into 12 6 into 12 that is 72 so I got x y z as 72 now x y is 24 so divide by x y so z is equals to 72 by 24 I think 3 is a so z is equals to 3 okay then y z 18 if you divide by 18 x is equals to uh, 18 means uh, 6 uh, yeah no not not 6 uh, 18 uh, 4 4 8 uh, 32 40 plus yeah 4 uh. so x is 4 and then in the last y will be 12 6 uh. so uh, 4 3 uh, sorry 4 6 and 3 first option 4 6 and 3 like this sir they have given area of triangle which is half base into height so every time we are doing that okay understood I hope this is clear now moving on now this question now let's solve few questions from 2021 let's solve few questions from 2021 like this question this is very interesting question I will say this is a very good question if XYZ be an arbitrary point lying on a plane P which passes through the point means plane is passing through these three points sir if plane is passing through this point these are this is what a kind of you can say x by 42 y by 42 z by 42 so x plus y plus z is equals to 42 equation of the plane right then the value of this expression they are asking value of this expression they are asking only this much information is given and they are asking the value of so it's a very good combination of a basic maths and a plane equation now if you carefully see if you carefully see x minus 11 plus y minus 19 plus z minus 12 see 11 plus 19 is 30 30 plus 12 is 42 so 42 can be written in this form so is equals to 0 is equals to 0 right because this is true if this is equals to 0 now so a cube plus b cube we know that if a plus b plus c is 0 a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 a b c this is the basic fundamental which is there so take lcm of these three take lcm of these three so 3 plus if i take lcm if i take lcm this one will be x minus 11 whole square y minus 19 a whole square z minus 12 whole square now sir if you multiply this uh, means uh, what is missing x minus 11 so it will become x minus 11 whole cube y minus 19 whole cube z minus 12 whole cube minus x plus y plus z divided by 14 into x minus 11 y minus 19 
and z minus 12 like this now a cube plus b cube plus c cube is what 3 a b c so 3 plus 3 x minus 11 y minus 19 z minus 12 like this so this will get cancel this is x plus y plus z by 14 x minus 11 y minus 19 and z minus 12 like this now i can take lcm i can take lcm because this is gotten cancelled now what they are asking the value of this expression they are asking now a plus b plus c is zero no, sir x plus y plus z is 42 so this can be written as 42 this can be written as 42 so 3 means and uh, this is a multiply so 3 plus this is 3 by this and uh, this is 42 14 ones are threes are minus 3 by this so this and this will get cancel answer is 3 answer is 3 see a super question which involves a plus b plus c theory and a simple means only one step of 3d but remaining entire thing was solving and your skills of basic maths so if you are not knowing that part you can't solve this question so a very good question came from 2021 okay next again a 2021 question if the distance of the point from the plane measured parallel to this line we solved this kind of question see sir means in our basic notes we do a lot of research and keep those kind of questions only which comes in exams means from those only pattern means there are fixed patterns means there are not so many questions on 3d and geometry 3d geometry so if you understand and solve those kind of problems automatically the problems coming in exam will be similar so what we used to do in this sir point is 1 minus 2 and 3 from this point you need to draw a line which is parallel to measured parallel to 3 m no not m here again minus m and 1 okay so if this is a this is b so this b the distance is root 7 by 2 then the value of mod m they are asking then the value of mod m they are asking okay now the distance is given as root 7 by 2 if the distance of this point from the plane measured parallel to the line measured parallel to the line uh, what we can do is first of all the b b coordinates will become any point on this line this is x minus 1 means x minus 1 by 3 then y plus 2 by minus m z minus 3 by uh, z minus 3 by 1 let it be lambda so x is equals to 3 lambda plus 1 y is equals to minus lambda minus 2 z is equals to lambda plus 3 so these are the coordinate so these coordinate will satisfy the equation of plane substitute in it x sir 3 lambda plus 1 then minus uh, plus 2 y so plus so that will be minus 2 m lambda minus uh, 2 to the 4 then plus 3 lambda plus uh, 3 3 is a 9 plus 10 equals to 0 now if you solve this 3 plus 3 6 lambda minus 2 m lambda and this is 1 plus 9 10 10 minus 4 it's 6 6 plus 10 16 is equals to 0 also the distance the distance is given as root 7 by 2 the distance is given as root 7 by 2 so you can see this thing also okay 
this is 90 okay so already we have given one more thing that the distance between them is root 7 by 2 so they will make something so that the calculation will not become that much long because it's a j question so if you see distance a b distance a b so sir b point this is b point minus a so sir 3 lambda plus 1 minus 1 sir 3 lambda square then minus m lambda minus 2 plus 2 so plus m square lambda square and lambda plus 3 minus 3 plus lambda square this is given as root 7 by 2 so squaring both side what you will get uh, you will get as 10 so lambda square common 10 plus m square equals to 7 by 2 is equals to 7 by 2 so lambda square so here also what you can do is minus 16 here uh, lambda common 6 minus 2m right if you square both side lambda square 6 minus 2m whole square 16 square is 256 so instead of lambda square I can write 7 by 2 uh, 10 plus m square into 6 minus 2m square is equals to 256 now it's a equation in m we need to find m i think this will divide by 7 uh, 7 3s are 21 uh, 21 so <coughs> 46 no sir it is not getting divided so this will get multiply here and this will get multiply here so 7 6 square 36 plus 4 m square minus 2 2s are 4 uh, 6 2s are 12 12 2s are 24 so 24 into 7 <coughs> sorry 24 into 7 7 4s are 28 2 7 2s are 14 14 plus 2 16 so it will be 168 168 m is equals to uh, 256 into 2 so 512 into 100 plus m square sorry 10 plus m square means this is not squared uh, this is not squared so it is 512 into 10 plus m square like this now we need to solve this quadratic and that will be the answer as simple as that so you need to trust your knowledge your concepts and question will be little I'm telling you question will be lengthy because it's a JE exam they want you to crack it and they want that questions should not be that much easy also but the concept use was very similar what we have already done in the class little calculative part okay okay moving on now if the equation of the plane passing through the line of intersection of the planes and the point sir again 2021 means intersection of the planes means family of planes so it will become p1 plus lambda p2 is equals to 0 so 2x minus 7y plus 4z minus 3 plus lambda times 3x minus 5y plus 4z plus 11 equals to 0 now this plane passes through minus 2 1 comma 3 so minus 4 minus 7 plus 4 3 is a 12 minus 3 plus lambda times 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 minus 5 12 plus 11 equals to 0 so this will give us the value of lambda now uh, 4 and 7 it's uh, 11 and 14 so 10 14 so it will be minus 2 it will be minus 2 plus lambda times 6 and 5 11 so 12 so 2 lambda is equals to what you can see 1 by 6 now substitute this 1 by 6 here so it will become 6 2s are 12x, 6 7s are 42y uh, plus 6 4s are 24z, 6 3s are 18 
प्लस थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई प्लस फोर जेड प्लस इलेवन इक्वल्स टू जीरो ना सिंप्लीफाई ट्वेल्व प्लस थ्री फिफ्टीन एक्स देन माइनस फोर्टी सेवन वाई देन ट्वेंटी एट जेड देन माइनस सेवन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इफ यू कंपेयर बोथ सो 2a plus b plus c minus 7 equals to they are asking. They are asking. So a is 15. So 30 minus 47 plus 28 minus 7. So 58 and uh, this is 47 plus 7. Uh, 30 plus 28 is 58. 51. So 4. So the answer will become 4 like this. what was there sir a simple j problem came in this way nothing else a simple j problem okay clear moving on the equation of the plane parallel to this plane which are at unit distance from the point is this sir this kind of question we have already done i am leaving this as a homework for you it's a 2021 question simply i have know that means we know that if a plane is parallel so only constant term will be different only constant term will be different next let the mirror image of this point with respect to the plane is this sir we have direct formula for this again you can solve this see sir same questions are coming every simple simple question now 2021 again a plane passes through the point this this and this so three points what is the equation of three points if you remember x minus x1 y minus y1 and z minus z1 now all the points 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 so 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 then 1 minus 3 and 2 minus 3 equals to zero. This is the equation of the plane. So, x minus 1 into 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So minus 1. This is 2. 2 and uh, minus 2 minus 4. So plus 4. Minus y minus 2. Now minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and 1. So plus 2. And the last z minus three, sir. Two into one, two. Three minus two is one. One into one minus one equals to zero. So this is three. Three x minus three. This is one. And then this is also one. So three x minus y plus z. So three plus three six. Six. This is four. so answer will be this this is the equation of the plane now o is the origin and p is this then the projection of op on this plane for projection also i have told you you need to find the feet of the perpendicular so feet of the origin on this feet of p on this and then their distances so whatever we have done same questions are coming in exams just they are clubbing it one question was finding the plane equation one question now finding the length they are mixing means so that the question will be uh, the calculation will become a bit lengthy that's it so for 000 for 000 like o dash o dash will become h minus 0 by 3 k minus 0 by minus 1 and l minus 0 by 1 is equals to Minus zero zero zero, so it will become minus four, uh, three square nine, plus one plus one. So it is four by eleven. So h is equals to twelve by eleven. K is equals to uh, what you can say. This is four by eleven. So it will become minus four by eleven, and l will become uh, again four by 11 like this so this is that in the same way now i need to calculate for p p dash p dash so it will become 
एच डैश माइनस टू बाई थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू के डैश प्लस वन बाय वॉट यू कैन से वेर इट इज द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ प्लेन ओ सॉरी सॉरी हेयर माइनस वन एंड देन एल डैश माइनस वन बाय प्लस वन इज इक्वल्स टू नाउ सब्सटूटिंग द पॉइंट माइनस टू थ्री जा सिक्स प्लस वन माइनस सॉरी प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन प्लस वन प्लस वन सो दिस विल बिकम एट बाय इलेवन एट बाय इलेवन नाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस एंड देन फाइंड द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला सो इन दिस वे सो कैलकुलेटिव they will be little calculative but will be on a simpler side always but will be on a simpler side okay now moving on again 2021 question consider the three planes this this and this then which of the following is true they are asking parallel so parallel planes means the direction ratio will be proportional sir 3 15 by 3 is 5 no sir P1 and P2 no, P2 and P3 1 by 2, 3 by 10 no sir. Now P1 and P3 3 by 2, 5 3 za 5 2 za 7 3 za 7 2 za yes sir. P1 and P3 are parallel. A option see. Means you don't have to pick up pen also. Asked in 2021 P1 P3 parallel, like this. Okay, next. let this be a point on the plane which passes through the point now if one passing point is given the plane equation is x minus 4 into a b y plus 2 c z minus 2 equals to 0 if the plane is perpendicular to the line joining the point this and this so plane is perpendicular to this line so that means direction ratio of this line is the abc so minus uh, minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so it will become 1 then uh, i have taken this so minus 16 plus 21 will become 5 and then 23 minus 29 will become 6 so minus 6 So x minus four plus five y five two is a ten six z plus six two is a twelve. So x plus five y minus six z four twenty two twenty two minus four it's eighteen. So plus eighteen equals to zero. Now this point lies on the plane. They are saying. be a point on the plane so put this point so it will be lambda uh, plus 5 2 are 10 minus 6 plus 18 equals to 0 so 4 so lambda is equals to minus 22 lambda is equals to minus 22 now substitute this minus 22 by 11 whole square 4 into minus 22 by 11 minus 4 11 ones are twos are Twoza, so four minus minus plus four twoza eight, four four cancel. Answer is eight. Answer is eight. In this way, you need to solve this. Okay. I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this. okay moving on now some 2020 question if the distance between the plane this and the plane containing the two lines sir we can find this you can easily solve this question okay next so means i'm telling you the trend you can see the trend how questions are coming in 2021 and 2019 all are quite similar angle between the line and the plane sir same question we did it is sin theta we will substitute this and find the value of k so easily you can solve this 
सो द नेचर एंड ट्रेंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सेम विल बी ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो यू कैन सी दैट नन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी वॉट यू कैन से डिफरेंट अप्रोच और यू कैन से इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट you were able to understand the problem and you can easily solve them if you have solved those the basic classes what we have done right so with this i'm just concluding this chapter that it is really a scoring chapter if you go with the entire question which we have done that is more than enough still i will keep one more session in the next session today also we discuss in the last uh, few questions we discuss only pyq some more pyq we will discuss and then you will get to know that okay means it is very simple chapter if 20 to 30 questions of different kinds if we have solved and we have in our mind you can easily crack this chapter at any stage at board level at j level at any point okay so we'll meet you in the next class till then keep solving take care bye bye thank you